Hey guys and welcome to new into this point cloud and open 3d tutorial in this video here i'm going to show you how we can do point cloud visualization and how we can actually like do animations with the point cloud that we load in with open 3d so in the previous videos when we want to act like display and visualize our point clouds we've just used the function draw uh draw the geometry so where we actually like just displaying the point cloud um we add that we actually like load in but in this video here we're going to show how we can actually like make an interactive environment or like we can have a non-blocking environment where we can actually like show what the algorithm is doing when we're for example doing icp where we're trying to do post estimation or align point clouds and then we're going to do animations uh, with non-blocking visualizations of our point clouds but first of all remember to join the discord server i'll link to it down in the description here you can come join the channel chats about computer vision deep learning ai and so on you can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small amount of fee everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel also if you're a member and you need some help in your projects or some guidance i can also help you out if you're a member of the channel so thank you guys so in this video here, we're just going to jump straight into the code so we can actually like see how we can set up this visualization. This will be a rather short video just to show you how we can use it. Uh, we won't go into, into, into details about the uh, ICP and the algorithms that we're going to run and display. I've made videos about ICP, how we can do post estimation and try to align two different kind of point clouds if they're rotated or like translated away from each other. So make sure to check the open 3 tutorial out. I have all the videos covering all the different kind of topics that we can do. Uh, on top of point clouds processing post processing pre-processing and do different kind of operations with point clouds but here we're just going to go through the example here with the non-blocking visualization from open v or like from open 3d so first of all here we're just going to import open 3d module we have numpy and then we also have import copy here so we can actually make a copy and store our images later on if we want to do that so first of all here we go down into our main function we set up uh, our verbosity uh, level here so this is actually like just um this is just initialization for our uh, utility when we actually like want to do this non-blocking visualization with open 3d then we're going to take a source and a raw point cloud here so we're just going to take the raw 3d points we're going to load them in from the test example point clouds that is provided we've already used those point clouds here in the previous videos so we're just going to load in two point clouds then we're actually like going to downsample our point cloud with the voxel downsample function down here so we're going to downsample our uh, point clouds here both the source and the target point cloud so the idea here is that we actually like want to have a source point cloud and then we have want to have a target point cloud and then we want to align our source point point cloud on top of our target point cloud we have already like an initial transformation when we're doing icp if we don't have an initial transformation we will need to use global uh, global uh, global registration i've made videos about all those things so if you're interested in knowing more about that definitely check that check those videos out it's really cool algorithms and we can make some really nice projects with it but here we're going to voxel down sample our point clouds then we're just going to apply here an arbitrary transformation to one of the point clouds so we will, if we will actually like to transform our our source point cloud here so we have our source point cloud we rotate it or like we translate it and then we want to match that with our target point cloud again so we're aligning the two point clouds it could be for example finding objects in a scene or something like that or just like stitching images together where we create point clouds from those images so here we're transforming our uh, source point cloud then we're going to flip the point clouds here we will actually like just do that for visualization so they're not on, on uh, like uh, bottom up so then we're going to go down here and actually like create our visualizer so i'll just zoom in here a bit so you can better see what is going on so here we're just going to initialize our visualizer object here we just go inside open3d dot visualization dot visualizer so we have this visualizer class here where we can actually like apply this or do this non-blocking visualization so when we're applying like our iterations in our algorithm we can actually like see what is going on in each iteration when we're applying some algorithm on our point cloud instead of we just like apply our algorithm and then we display the results because we have a blocking visualization as in all the previous videos that we had uh, throughout this channel here or this tutorial about point clouds and open 3d so then we're going to create a window from our visualizer we're going to add the geometry here so instead of using draw geometries we're now just going to add our geometries to our visualization we're going to add our source point cloud and our target point cloud and then down here we will have a full loop run running through an algorithm and then we want to see what is this algorithm here doing and what is the result of the of the algorithm for each iteration that we're running uh, then we're actually just going to update our visualization later on down here in our full loop then we're going to set up a threshold here these uh, these values here are actually like just for the icp algorithm we're going to set up a threshold and then we're going to set up a number of icp iterations that we want to run through 
So ICP is actually just like an algorithm that tries to align point clouds when we have a good initial guess about the about the transformation, or like at least at least the two point clouds are close to each other because we're actually just trying to match. We're iteratively trying to match the closest points in the two point clouds. Again, more details in the other videos. So here we just have a boolean if we want to save the image here. So first of all, we just set it to false. We don't want to display, like save our image. We just want to display them here in Open3D with this interactive visual visualizer with a non-blocking uh, visualization. So we actually like, get an animation of what our algorithm is doing while we're running this program. So here we have a for loop. It's basically just a for loop running through from I here to the number of ICP iterations that we chose up here. Then we're going to set up our registration here for ICP. These are just the values that we need to plot in. We're going to have the source point cloud, the target point cloud, uh, the threshold value here, and then we're just going to have an identity matrix. Then we're going to, to choose the algorithms that we want to do ICP. So in this video here, we're just going to uh, do the transformation estimation with the point to plane, um, one point to plane algorithm, which is usually the case that you want to use. We also have an ICP convergence criteria, and here we just have a max iteration of one. Then we're actually just going to apply this for one iteration. Then we're going to transform our point cloud with the result that we get from ICP. Then we just transform our source point cloud with the result from the ICP. Again, we're trying to match the source point cloud. So we align it on top of the target point cloud. Then we can update our geometry. We're only updating our source because our target will just be static. We want to match the source to the target. Then we can call this poll event and then we can just update our render. So after we've done this, it will actually just update the geometries and it will update the render and then we'll get this nice animation for each of the ICP iterations that we're running through uh, in this algorithm here. When we're done running through all the ICP iterations and we've actually aligned the point cloud on top of the target point cloud, then at the bottom here, we're just going to destroy the window of our visualizer. So basically this is all the code that you need. You need to load in your point cloud do the operations, then you can actually like have your algorithm just running inside a for loop and then you can animate or like display, visualize what is going on step by step in your algorithm with this non-blocking visualization. So now we're just going to run the program here so we can actually like see this nice visualization of our ICP algorithm. So here we can see that the point cloud here is actually like moving for all the steps. I'll just run it here again so we can actually like see what is going on. But we just take each of the iterations, we then we just update our um, visualization here. So we can see that it tries to align th this point cloud here onto the other point cloud when we're running this program here, which is what ICP is doing. And then we can see at the end, we're starting with a point cloud that is actually like a trans translated or like transformed a bit to the left. And also with the orientation, rotation, and then we're trying to align it on top of the other one with ICP, as we can see. And we can see here at the end, we actually like end up with a result where we are totally aligning the target point cloud on top, or like the source point cloud on top of the target point cloud. So thank you guys for watching this video here, and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. And also, if you like this video here, if you like the content and evolve more in the future, it will help me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm calling us new in this computer vision tutorial where we're talking about in basic image operations, camera calibration, stereo vision, how we can use stereo vision to get depth information in our images. Uh, and also we're talking about like how we can generate point clouds from stereo vision and so on. And now we're then using the point clouds with Open4D to do some processing and so on. So if you're interested in that computer vision tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else I'll see you next video guys. Bye for now.